Word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. I am here with... Devin. CJ. And... Max Bags. And it's just us again. <laughs> so we are a group of friends from around the world discussing what we think is interesting articles. And the first article for this week is about Japan approving scientists' plans to create world's first humanimals. Say what now? What? <laughs> humanimals, guys. Say what now? Is that like half what? human, half animal? Hence, human animals. Oh, I've heard about this. Oh. So, not really. Okay. Okay. So, yes. Basically, um, this was brought up and I think they rejected it. Uh, reversed, reversed, like there was a massive government ban, ban, sorry, but it's now been reversed earlier this year. And um, according to Nature, which is a committee from Japan Science Ministry, they've signed off on a request Um to allow like researchers to grow a human pancreas in either rats or mice. And that's oh. like the first like the first sort of step. Is that like the ear on the guinea uh, on the mouse. on the on the mouse? What? Yeah, they grew an ear on a mouse. Yeah, they grew an ear on a mouse. The mm. mouse was a listener. That is <laughs> insane. <laughs> Actually, no, you're right, because it says researchers have previously created human-animal embryos, such as sheep and pig embryos with human cells, but they they um, terminated the pregnancies, like, early on, um, whereas this... Um, can't do that in America now. Well, this one... Oh, what well, well, you in, can't do what? In Alabama. Abortion, <laughs> Alabama. Oh! <laughs> but this <laughs> nice. experiment is actually going to bring them to... The embryos to full term. They're going to... I think it's called chimera. I don't know what that means. They're going to bring the chimera embryos to term. Chimera. So resulting chimera. in the birth of a real, living, breathing human animal. But it's not to just create, like, your favourite, like, mix of, you know, um, two animals that you want to... Like, no, an animal. Labradoodle. Yeah, like... So you a couldn't do, doodle. like, a... <laughs> A hume horse or something like that. Oh, not <laughs> a hume horse. Funny, funny to be human hung like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> what huge. would you? What would you? What would you pick as your well, other animal? Would that human have a bone in his? <laughs> I would. Um, what would my animal be? <laughs> yeah, I would pick a. Um... Ooh, I don't know. Maxie, what would you pick as your other half? Know. If you were a half human, half animal. Half human, half animal. Yeah. Well, I guess it's just like, what do I want to be able to do? So maybe have some wings. That might be cool. Maybe half human, half eagle. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I was thinking dolphin, but then I wouldn't be able to get on land at all. No, you'd just literally um. be like <laughs> in the water. <laughs> um, if you pick dolphin, I'm picking a shark. <laughs> oh, don't I'm, dolphin beat shark. I think dolphin chump shark, no? Oh, That's what? It. I thought yeah, shark, probably. I thought shark eats dolphin. Has a, has, I don't think they, they know, they, none of them eat each other, but I think there's been cases where they've like, Try to fight each other and a shark, uh, dolphin wins. Oh, wow. Yeah, go pick your shark. <laughs> I think <think> bear. <laughs> I was going to say bear. Bear. Why bear? Because you're really strong. Why not a gorilla? I pick a puppy. I pick gorilla. I pick a puppy. You just said you picked a bear. You can't no, pick anything, Emma. Gorilla sounds good. Or um, a panther. A panther? Yeah. I don't know. They I'll all sound good. I'll be you, what about, stupid ladies. I'll just pick a parrot. <laughs> And I'd be very good at mimicking things. And <laughs> my, uh, <laughs> career. Hey. And then I, no one looks at me like, who's this guy? They'd be like, he's just good at accents. <laughs> hey, I'll pick a penguin. I'm always in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> what? And you also tell really bad jokes on the back of the penguin wrapper. Wait, that might be an English joke. Yeah, I don't get the they penguin don't have penguins that. here. Wait, it's called to Miguel, though, right? It's called, um, um, Tim Tam. Fan tails. Fan tails, isn't that lolly? No. Tim Tam. Tim Tams. But they're not individually wrapped. Oh, they don't have jokes on the back? No. What did you do in your childhood? I ate the lollies and then you had no, You had no small chocolate biscuit which has jokes on the back of them? No. No, but they have like these chewy chocolate things. Wagon wheels. We had the wagon <gasps> Which Pick does the have wagon like... Wheel. <gasps> Pick the wagon wheel. What's that? Why are you hiccuping? Because there's the, the, the drunk, the dra the drunk um, snail. Was was trying to pitch children. The drunks now was <laughs> selling children Here chocolate go, wagon pick, wheels. Pick the wagon wheel. <laughs> pick the wagon wheel. <laughs> that, 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 that's the reason why everyone's an alcoholic. 
<laughs> what the hell? So, I don't know. They're big enough to be drunk <laughs> in a wagon wheel. Tell me oh, more wow, about times have changed. Tell me more about this article. Okay, so this is actually okay. Long story short, they're doing this to create human organs inside animals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that they can be used for human transplant. Okay. okay. Because human transplants are scarce. But they're picking animals such as pigs and stuff where they've already got, this sounds horrible, infrastructure to slaughter them. Yeah. Um, so what you're saying is we could be eating pork that had grown human. They wouldn't They wouldn't send that no, to the abattoir Surely for eating. Separate. I'm hoping because there's some ethical. Oh, that unless they. they yeah. Because oh. that that'd be quite nasty. Yes, you're right. That that would be horrible. Well, there are massive ethical questions, um, (laughs) such as what happens if human cells get into the um, the animal's brain, and they've said that um, if at any point human cells are um, seen in the brain, then they will stop. They'll stop the experiment. Yeah. Are are we about to create like? The planet of the apes, where the apes have taken over from humanity, <laughs> ourselves. Mm. Except they're using. It's, um... Are we planet of the pigs? But they're basically saying, is is it is it as morally, is it just the same morally as breeding hu- breeding animals for slaughter for eating? Like, is it the same? Not We're breeding all... them to grow um, human really organs. Of... Versus, yeah, because yeah, they're both just as bad as each other. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. There has to be another way they can grow organs. No, <laughs> well, the this, three... is, this is not a common thing, Siege. This well, is not like no, but the three D printers. I thought they yeah. were doing it that way. You can't three D print an organ. That's what they reckon you'll be able to do. But like an organ, three D print an organ. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Not right now, but that's what what's they're that? working towards. What's pretty towards. sure? Is that like 50 50? Don't or know. What's the percentage of I pretty actually sure? have no percentage. I, th- I think it's let's more like 30 with, 70. Let's go with 80. <laughs> 20. That's pretty 50, hard. 50 50. It is. Or it is. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. Look, I told you 3D okay. printing implants and organs is the new reality. This is December from healthcare.com.au. Okay. Now I'm just thinking in a sense where, like, because um, that. Pig or animal will become part of human. Yeah, it will have human organs or like maybe. Can you print a whole human? Oh my god! Technically, you probably could, but there's a lot of layers and different like. I don't think the human will be working. They'll be unemployed. Yeah, but if they can print human <laughs> organs to work, <laughs> then why couldn't they print? You know, you know. I just thought about this. You know, yesterday or uh, last week, we were talking about consciousness, and then the AI came. And then, like, we said that the consciousness that the doctor described was that it started this energy, which started how it kept flowing. And then all of a sudden, and that's what AI is, right? You start this momentum, this, or like you start it, or this energy starts, and all of a sudden it just takes over. Oh, yeah, it takes on a world of its own. And that's just consciousness. That AI is consciousness. Oh, no, no. So it says 3D printing could also have a huge benefit for patients who are waiting for an organ transplant. Research is currently being conducting on conducted on 3D printers to create artificial hearts, kidneys, liver structures, as well as other major organs. And if the research what? is successful, then 3D printed organs could be an alternative solution for patients waiting for donor transplants. That's wow. blown my mind. Mm-hmm. Is it, but they, what, do they use the same matter that we use, or is it 3D printing like a structure that which is like a organ? It's, it's like, like it a structure that is like an organ. It's not, it's, not, it's not printing like human cells and stuff. Like I think so, is because that that's heart? what they've been working on in um, the labs. I've seen like... They pic- can 3D print a heart, so it, it is the same. It could be the same as just another human heart. Uh, like they use human tissue, but I think, but I don't. So know. let's just say, let's just make a big assumption here. Let's say all organs apart from the brain are three D printable, printable, yeah. And then you're like, you're a rich person with a body that's like dying. You're old. I don't and you know. Three D print a whole new body. One on, minute, one minute. Re- replacement, on, um, par- replacement parts. On Live Science, there was an article where it says scientists three D printed a heart the size of a rabbit using human tissue. It has four chambers, blood vessels, and it beats, sort of. Look, I, sort of. I'm not, I'm not 100 percent sold on these 3D printers. Remember how our kid <laughs> did the button? <laughs> he, he made a button at vacation. And care. what did it said? 
uh, T Rex boy. He right? wanted it to say T Rex boy. And what did it boy. say? I re- re- ex- 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 it, it, boy. It, it didn't write the whole word. It missed a few <laughs> letters and stuff. <laughs> Imagine a three three D printer heart comes out and goes, "Oh, yep, we missed that valve. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sorry about that. <laughs> My bad. Ran out of ink or whatever. <laughs> ran out of ink. <laughs> ink. <laughs> ran out of ran out Tissue. of the material. But I will say, I do I do think in like twenty years time, everyone will have a three D printer at home. Yeah, yeah. I was I was looking at buying. Well, one. they were yeah. They sell them at the local office works. I don't think they're that. But great I think like like now it's still kind of novel. Like, what would you print if you had a three D printer? Um, parts like camera parts, or like um, human body parts, like sliders. They've got this stuff on um, L. Yes. So you have it. That's cool. You have a use. A for use. It. Yeah. But we're saying like what you would go to IKEA, right? Print. Online. Yeah. And you would say, "I want that," and then you just press order, and then your printer prints the part for you. That's no. mad. That's mad. That's mad. But then that then or all the shops will go out of business because everyone will just buy a three D printer. And no. Yeah. It. So it so be, it has to be a, like. A, there's obviously there's some sort of scale to this which won't work. Like some people could afford maybe a big 3D printer, and also there's there's structural issues with 3D printers which are hard to match. Like wood, you can't 3D print wood, yeah. for instance, because it's. Mm. But for example, if your plug breaks in your sink, you would just say, "Oh, I'm going to 3D print a plug." You wouldn't go and oh. buy a new plug. Or if your lights break, you wouldn't go and buy a new light. You would just 3D print the. What? But that's but 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 mainly for like. Anything which is plastic or metals mainly at the moment is what's very doable because if you want to do um, like an actual light bulb, then you have to make sure you have glass and you know all the yeah. main components. Yeah. It's just materials. We should, we should buy a 3D printer. I think a cheap one's like 600 I wouldn't bucks. now. Like I, well, for fun, do it now. It's yeah. probably not um, worth it now. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. They'll get cheaper. In- hmm. That's interesting. We that's, do need it. We do need a new. It's few and far um, between articles that Maxi's plug. mind gets blown. You know that. Yeah, we've blown him. Okay, at the moment. <laughs> wow. At the mo- at the, at this the mo- mind. At, at, the, at the moment, it'd be cheaper just to buy a plug than to buy a free <laughs> printer to get the plug. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> This week on Max Facts. Say it Max, again, Facts! <laughs> Max <on>. Facts! <laughs> Max Facts! Max Facts! I'm leaving. God, That's going to be it. That's how it's going to be from oh now on. God, Max Facts! No more. Three's enough. It's going to scare everyone. No, I'm going to tone it down. All right. All right, go, Max. Okay, so the sun makes up in terms of mass. What percentage of our solar system? Oh, wow. Well, hmm. well mass, wow. Mass, 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 let's say Jupiter, say Jupiter's calculating <laughs> the amount of forty uh, percent. Well, Jupiter's storm um, fits at least how three. How big our is? I don't um, know how big Jupiter is compared minus, to the universe. Minus, the solar system. Minus one. <laughs> um, I'd say about. No, it's not minus one percent. They're wrong. Five. Answer. I'd say. I'd say seven percent. I'm just going to go okay. 25. Actually, zero, because there's no weight in space. Oh, my gosh. Is it a trick question? That's why I just said the word mass, mass. instead of weight. Okay, so 7%. 25. No, you were at zero. <laughs> why? Because you said zero. No, 7%. 7, 25, what do you reckon? what's yours? 40. 40? All right, let's go. I was going to go 40, but I went 25. All right. Shh. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. You might be surprised. It is 99.8%. What? what? I was the closest. <laughs> you were at 40. <laughs> I don't understand. I was the closest. <laughs> How can it take up 99.8%? The mass. I don't because know what Because the is. sun is massive. Like, <laughs> I don't think anyone understands how big the sun is. Like The earth can fit into the sun. I, I don't know how it is. It's like thousands of times. I don't know how many. How many... Earth's yeah, but then into the sun. when you but then so does it not take into account? So one point three million Earths fit into the sun. Wow! Oh my god! I got one point three million on it. <laughs> <laughs> so what about all the the dark matter? Like that doesn't count. It's no mass. Um, hmm, true. Um, oh, does it, it have mass? All the asteroids. I don't know yeah. how. Yeah, does that have mass? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So interesting. Great Max fact. Max facts. 
Okay, um, this next article is basically about um, the Netherlands using robots to grow the food. So they're implementing... Grow the food? Well, okay. Their that's, food? That's what it says. But So it says machines taking are taking over farms in the, in the Netherlands and it's helped to propel the rise to the world's second biggest food exporter after the US. I didn't know they were the world's second biggest food exporter. What? Does that sound right? No way. Well, not, not food, surely. World's propeller. Marijuana, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But basically, there's, I guess, there's a lot of cows there. <laughs> I don't know if there's a lot of cows, hey, but hey, the, hey, the dairy hey. farmers. Hey. It's not nice talking about. Yeah, the ladies, right? The ladies, that's, that's, right? That's nice. so, so there's one, Martin Didjkstra's dairy farm, which is in the north of Netherlands. Um, for instance, she has got this robotic, um, you know, one that milks the cows. And that's actually gaming, game, gaining popularity around the world, those ones that they pump the milk, right? Because it stops. Australia's right. got them. Yeah. Right. So that's one of them. That's just one type. So that's the, probably one of the most common. Yeah. That, that's robotic. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, so the cows just go onto that thing, use that, whatever. <laughs> You're like, not impressed so far. No. <laughs> Um, I just had that for years. So that milking robot was first invented by Dutch engineers, actually, in the 1990s. Lie. Um, what do you mean, lie? You reckon an Aussie did it? 100%. They said, I'm not doing this. His name was Gaza. <laughs> he was married to Shazza. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing this. Let's find someone he's else a, to do it's this. It's a Shazza. <laughs> Let's and get the milk out of the cow. And she's like, why don't you use your um, robotic arm <laughs> that, that you've been playing with in the garage? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> by yourself. <laughs> he goes, okay, Shazza. It doesn't matter what article. It doesn't matter. (laughs) So they also have harvesting and fruit vegetable picking robots. um, And one billion, one billion. You know when I say one billion, I always want to follow it with thousand. (laughs) One billion thousand. (laughs) Why? I don't know. One billion (laughs) spending in was spent on innovation last year by the sector. Wow. Which is a lot. So they're really putting a lot into this. But so I this think you're right. Where they are the second largest food exporter, which is in the world insane because well, it's crazy. tiny. They're they're not like big, right? So here's a picture. I don't know if you can see it on the article, Max. Like here's a picture of one of their pepper harvesting robots. Um, I think they ran a test last wow, year. Wow, that's, that's and it can pick a pepper in 15 seconds, which, uh, which Say isn't... Say that three times fast. Pick a pepper, 15. Yeah. <laughs> pick a pe- it can pick a pepper. Um, yeah, stop rapping. <laughs> it can pick a pepper, gosh, in oh. 15 seconds, which isn't... Which we could actually pick it faster, but they don't stop. They don't stop to go on breaks. They don't stop to sleep. Like, they just uh, keep going. But if they do stop, you won't know until... You come in the next morning? Yeah, so it's missed. It's missed. Well, you, there's a thing called... Um, mobile data or 4G where they can tell you <laughs> they've stopped. Oh. Or do you think they're like, oh, I'm going to stop. He's gone. I'll just start no. back up 10 minutes before no. he comes in tomorrow. <laughs> they look over, they look over their shoulders. Fault. They have shoulders. They look over their left <laughs> arm joint. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, the narratives this week, you've gone on such big tangents. It's like, well, that's not what I meant. Obviously, that's not what I meant. But... <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. Um, now those machines cost about seventy five to seventy five thousand to a hundred thousand when it what? first goes on sale, but most of that's attributed to like the development rather than the hardware. So it's going to go down in the future. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so what but this is w- what is interesting. So they needing to do this because there is an aging population. Yeah. And not enough labor workers. Yes. Especially in like a tiny place like Netherlands. Um, even in the US, only 2% of the US workforce now is employed in agriculture today, compared with 40% um, at the beginning of the 20th century. Whoa. That's big. That's 40%. massive. It was 40th at, at the beginning the of the 20th century. 20th, year, but it's now only two. But uh, 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 do we have a higher population rate? Like more people? We're aging population, so, so they can't do... Would that 2% be equivalent to the 40% back in those days? 
No, it'd be less. No. Numbers, there's more maybe, is what you're trying to say, Yeah, right? numbers. In terms of numbers. Like, in terms of numbers. Like, it's still, it's still 10 million people or something. Yeah. But, 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 but I guess what's different nowadays with all the technology is the amount of food one person can produce is significantly more. Yeah. So, it, yeah. I guess the main stat you want to look at is not so much how many people are doing it, but then what is the proportion <coughs> of food produced in the U.S. compared to people that live in the U.S.? Because the problem is, is if they import they're importing a lot. Like the, I'm pretty sure they are importing so a lot. If they're now importing loads, that's the that's the problem. That's like when you right. say we rely on other countries to survive. Actually, I don't know. I wonder how much they are importing. But like another of you know another factor why there's less labor workers is a lot of the migrants that were doing it are returning home from where they're from, um, put off by where's this poor where? conditions in the, US? in the Netherlands. So uh, oh, okay. there was a lot of uh, one, roughly America. one quarter of the Polish workers have left um, the farm jobs in the Netherlands just due to poor working, for poor farm working conditions. So they're losing people. There's no one to really replace them. So they're like, bring the robots in. And um, do you think? Yeah. Um, do you know we've always animal welfare stuff as well? Do you think it would be better for the animals if robots looked after them instead? No. It depends how they. Ha- what they're going to do with What do you them? mean, Maxi? I don't understand that. I don't like, so imagine if, like, you got these cows in a field before they had, like, a human. If he had a bad day, he just kicks the cow on the head for no reason. Oh. Robots tend, robots tend not to do that. Yeah. No, you're right, because I saw a disgusting video of um this chicken um farm, and they had employed just some, like, young people um overseas just on a working holiday type thing and they were like throwing the chickens and like seeing like if it, if it would just like start trying and fly away or whatever it was just it was horror and they were all laughing it was horrible that was in australia but just imagine i'm gonna put like imagine a farm right where it's there's a cows they have like i don't know 50 acres of land like a lot of land and they like the gates open automatically like when they want to they want the cows to come to be milked and stuff they open the gates automatically and the food happens to be kept where they get milked so the cows naturally themselves want to walk over to get whatever i don't know maybe they eat the grass i don't know but you just make sure they naturally want to walk over themselves like nudge theory then once they get in there then they have something that comes and like just attached to them and milks them in a way which doesn't like hurt them them too much and then you know what i mean like they just wander around on their own and the only thing they feel is these Random robots that just touch them down again to do stuff <laughs> to them. And then Prod, when they get to X amount of years old, you can, the robot comes in and shoots them in the head, I guess. Oh, that's my a, gosh. Never, never nice. But. Oh, man. I actually don't Because what happens that. then is like the farmers are like, oh, I'm late. I'm going to have to get up early. And the cows are always based around the human schedule, right? Yes. But robots don't care. They just keep it consistent. They're like, oh, it's raining like, today. Here's an automatic um, umbrella for you. Yeah, or they only <laughs> the like... The cows can have umbrellas <laughs> pop out their assholes. <laughs> 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 what's what else is pretty good about the robots is um they're being developed by de kramer's team um who is uh, i don't know who de kramer is this guy um and his team um and they're being developed so that they can recognize where disease might break out in crops and they're going to use cameras to help them recognize this um so basically you know with the pesticides yeah that and how that has had a massive effect on like honeybees. Yeah. The pesticides are killing all the honeybees, etc. So by being able to determine where a crop is going to be diseased through the cameras, they can then pinpoint the pesticides on those locations and then cut back everywhere else That's where smart. it's not needed. That's good. Yeah. So it's pretty good. Like it's the technology is going to be pretty good. You know what you reminded me when you said about the um, cow herding because we were looking into dogs, like potentially buying one. You know, it, this is so interesting. Rottweilers are they herding animals? I don't know if it was Rottweilers. I think it was though. One so minute morning. They, you know how they herd like the sheep or whatever. <laughs> so they would. What they do is they go up against the most dominant sheep and like challenge them. Right, yeah. and then once they've earned the sheep's respect, like everyone else follows. But then if the farmer keeps putting them with that flock of sheep, they just get a, they just have this like this bond, and the sheep pretty much just does what the dog wants it to do, and just unless someone gets out of line, then it'll give a bit of nip and nip on the heels or whatever. But otherwise, they've just got this this bond, and so it's like prison. Yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking. Home. It's just like go to the biggest guy in the yard and whack him. But isn't that interesting? <laughs> 
It is interesting. Uh, yeah. Wait, it's funny how like similar it can be. Like human behavior is, can be really similar to animals. Oh. Yeah. But when you said about the prison. Yeah. Go to the biggest guy and challenge him. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so are we, are we liking this tech for like... I like it. Yes. Yes. I think... I would love a future in 30 years where all agriculture is done by robots completely and it just means uh, they're all run by solar. You just need technicians to make sure they're running okay and that means food can be like available to everyone at a crazy cheap price. If you could have a giant pet anything, what would it be? <laughs> Emma just had to edit that because her first question is if you had a if you wanted a giant anything, what would you want? <laughs> oh I think all three males went we know. <laughs> brain. I would want a giant brain. <laughs> I would have got one. The capacity. Ooh. <laughs> Why is that question? Wait, Why do you oh, Well Max. because this lady in oh, Russia on. maybe? Has a giant Russia. snail. That is a big snail. I am not kidding you. When that, I say giant, this thing is bigger than her head. No, it's not bigger than it her is. head. Is it? It's longer than her head. It's longer and what, its shell. What do you is feed a snail? Massive. I know what you feed a snail. You feed it vegetables. Yeah. Um. It says what she likes. So this lady is from. It's a giant African snail. And she just loves it. She rescued it. She's uh, from Poland. Um, rescued it after seeing, <laughs> after seeing it in like horrible condition. Um, she went and bought it and she Wait, just... wait. How did it save? Was there like... Um, this, <laughs> a was guy there walking a wall... around of the... Shaq was walking on some giant Yeezys. <laughs> was, there, <laughs> was, it, was there a wall, of sna- uh, a wall of salt and it was about to go on it? And he's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> it, it, it was in France. And the French guy goes, ooh, that looks good. That's dinner tonight. <laughs> no. So they... Did anyone else picture this now with an African accent? <laughs> 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 well, it's kind of like your 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 post on Instagram. What with are you the... doing? Why are you trying to save me? <laughs> <laughs> I am perfectly happy here in Africa. Oh, <laughs> but sh- this hey, thing is the circle of life, right? <laughs> <laughs> it is a very cold here in Russia. <laughs> but the slime trail it must make, and she says she doesn't even care, but she does look after it well, and she did save it. But oh. I think it's just it is my a big snail. But it's the a big thing, it's like Chihuahua size. She gets a lot of online harassment for it, which isn't cool because that's what she wants to do, and she's not mistreating it. But I couldn't have one. Mm. <laughs> Could you imagine going out of that with that girl? No. And she's like, come back and meet my giant my, snail. Come back to my place and meet my giant. Like, What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I go. So where's this giant nail? <laughs> oh, look. where's this giant nail? <laughs> Like if a girl goes, come back to my place back and see my giant, giant snail, snail? Giant na- I'm going to run away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, run away from the giant snail? Yeah. Walk well, away, I, I'd imagine. I've been thinking like, what? what is she by giant snail? Like, is she a guy? And she just calls a penis a snail? <laughs> <laughs> Everything. What? CJ, Everything. I have no idea how you do this. I don't know. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Everything you turn into. Every article. <laughs> It, it still shocks me. <laughs> I, I just don't. I, I, I've got a skill. See? And if we, lose uh, it, if we get a machine, we lose it in time. Okay, so um, did you guys know that? <laughs> no, yes, Maxi? The count, it went up. Uh, it went five, four, three, two, one, and then it went up again. Because he was counting, so I was like going back up just to create extra time. Okay, okay. Is that what you were laughing you were at? Talking, you were talking on your four as well. He <laughs> was like, yeah. <laughs> the worst. All right, go. Okay, so um, Netflix is going to be featuring less smoking in its original content due to criticism after Stranger Things 3. I guess there was a lot of people smoking in it and people didn't like it. Um, and there was a um, 
a tweet. Is that a tweet? Yes. I don't know. A it's tweet. A tweet. Where someone said, oh, thank God Netflix has a show where they showed a girl kill herself in her bathtub and another kid gets sodomized by a broom handle but smoking, that's just too far. Effing far. Well, I'm not going to say that word. No, you're right. Um, (laughs) Netflix wouldn't let you say that word. (laughs) (laughs) But um, I don't like the other stuff that happened, but no, no, I'm on board with this because there's a lot of kids that watch, you know. I don't know if they're watching Stranger Things, but... How about yourself? I didn't notice it until this came out and then w- before Netflix, whatever, tweeted or it was an article or whatever. Mm. But I guess that's, is it like a subconscious thing? Just like seeing actors smoke? Are you just all of a sudden going, oh. Well, it used to be back in the day it would be fake, right? But nowadays I'm thinking. Was it fake back in the day? I'm pretty sure, wasn't it? It's more was likely real back It was real. I feel like the other way around. Yeah. yeah it's quite fake now. It's <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of stage shows. And it's like... Theatre. Yeah. Yeah, possibly theater. But you know what I did notice? Because we watched Lucifer and there's a lot of like drugs on there. And it's just real like blasé. Okay. A lot of reference to drugs and drug it's, usage. You know what Lucifer is? Yeah. He's the devil. So what do you want him to be in the... No, um, but d- I don't know. I did notice okay. it. I noticed it. Okay. Me personally, the person that didn't like the smoking, yeah. they have a, an alternative option. They can don't watch. watch the show. Okay. But you know that, you know, they were, if you try and put yourself in the, like, to be honest, I'm with, like, put smoking on there if you want, but if you try and put yourself in the mindset of you're a mum and you know your kids are watching a really cool person on this show that smokes, are they going to be encouraged to that's smoke? What yes, that's what I'm thinking. Because I think thinking. you're more likely to be encouraged to smoke than lay in a bathtub and kill yourself. Oh, gosh. Yeah. yeah. No, I, uh, I agree. Um, okay. But if you start taking away smoking, we're, we're going to end up taking away this because of someone's opinion. Oh, we're going to take away all drinking yeah. in, in bars, in, in TV shows, take away all drug usage, take away all swearing. We're going to end up with the so exact have, same we, show we, we shows in that, every channel. Yeah. Yeah. Variety yeah. show. Because no Everyone one just will be, snacking allowed, on broccoli all the will time. be allowed <laughs> to express themselves <laughs> yep. in, the, in, in their mind yep. and, what, and what they see. I get, I get it. I get that. Because the thing is, everything has to be the same. Yeah. I get both sides because I am that mum and I do go, oh, maybe you d- don't watch this or whatever. And also I have curious children like, what are they doing? What's that smoke coming out of their mouths and stuff like that? Do you know what I mean? Like as a parent, it's your job to say, don't smoke. Of course. But like Maxie said, if it's, if as they're getting older, maybe like teens okay. and they're seeing um, like I, their I, I idols. Think all of us have forgotten what it's like to be a teenager. We experimented with stuff ourselves. Growing up. Yeah, but Sage, Most likely, like, you, you're not a parent. The like, kids are well, going to experiment well, as well. I don't want to think that. You're so blasé about it, Sage, right? Because I don't you want to. Wanna... If my kids saw that, I'd be heartbroken. First off, I'd be heartbroken, right? Mm-hmm. Especially if we're instilling in them not to do certain things. And if they do it, it's sort of like, I guess it, I know they're going to. You have an inkling that they're going to experiment, but Siege, the way you're saying it, it's like it's expect go- it. It's going to happen. It's going it's to gonna, happen. Yeah, but if you if you were a parent and okay. your kid don't okay me, you can't because say it's that so if you are a parent thing You're to... doing it so blasé, Siege, and it <laughs> like it's like you it's like you haven't got kids, so it's like how can you say that? Like if a parent hears this, they're like, what the f are you talking about? You're going to try to protect them from. All the bad shit that happens in yeah, the world. You You're going to try 100%, right? Yeah. And you, it's not going to... You can't. But for you to say, like, for what you're saying, it's like, nah, man. No. Okay. It's you hard. It's, but it's, it's hard, hard for me to accept that it's easy for you to say it. But when you say it, and I'm like, nah, man. Okay. No way. Okay. Our parents wanted the best thing for us, correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we still did stupid stuff. Right, but my parents and, and your parents, and we, right? And we, and we learned you from knew them? the consequences of what of what was going to happen if you got caught. Yeah, you knew. Yeah, right. I'm not saying that we shouldn't still have consequences. Yeah, I'm saying that unfortunately, people are going to make their own mistakes and learn from them. Correct? Like yeah, we, yeah. like we did. Yeah. So expe- I think the difference, like, like, like let's say, example, with smoking. A, a major, a majority of us tried cigarettes. Yeah, it wasn't because of the TV show that made us try cigarettes. Um, are you serious? 
wasn't it more like are you serious? You met a girl that smoked, and you were more inclined to try to no, smoke. No, it was in? everywhere. The advertising was on like all the sports shows, all the cricket. Like the sponsors were Mar- Marlboro. Yeah, they were everywhere. Personally, I I started smoking because I saw a young lady smoking, and I wanted to talk hey, to her yeah. and impress the young lady, and that's why I started. But like, the thing, this is like it's a fashion thing, right? So, yeah. for example, fashion goes through cycles when you don't often look at the first advert for, to wear something you see someone else like oh that was a cool thing to wear but the inspiration probably stems from those adverts yeah. on the tv 100 percent. that girl was smoking because it, they saw someone that looked cool on tv but how many other people would have started smoking for the same reason i did but see yeah, but, okay, uh, but, so, no let's say this then that girl's smoking right and it, it's cool because you see also tv's confirmed it's cool things to do but if you saw that girl smoking but then the only thing you heard about smoking before then was bad things you'd be like like if that girl bit her toenails, you wouldn't be like, oh, "I'm gonna start biting my toenails." Because oh. that girl bites no, no, her toenails, but, and that's like, how we socialize. For smoking, <laughs> I heard a lot about bad things as well. Because my dad was an ex-smoker who had like throat cancer. Yeah. So obviously, I'd heard in the past that smoking is bad for you, mm. and I but, still chose. No, no, sorry, not, and I still chose to do it. The difference between mm, the science behind it and the emotions behind it are very different, right? Yeah. Yeah. So like. No, but it, did you hear what Maxi said? No, sorry, I missed. I was kind of listening, but then. <laughs> The, he said the yeah. science behind it and the emotion behind it. Like you said, you didn't... The, the, when you saw the pretty lady, mm. it was your emotion taking over. You were like, oh, I want to yeah. I want to impress. Yeah. There was some... <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yeah? And then, anyways, so like... Like and Max is saying, that girl would have seen it on TV. Okay. And that's where it stemmed from. So even though you were indirectly um, uh, influenced by the TV... The girl was possibly, and then you, you followed her. Like, you know what I mean? It, yeah, it's it's like, linked. I'm, I'm not culture. saying in the sense where, like, like I'm hoping children make mistakes, but all people will, when they're young, are going to try to find themselves, and they're going to make a few errors of judgment. It, yeah, but if they see people, <laughs> like, all right, <laughs> like my see... errors of judgment have made me the person I am today. I learned from them. I I get what you're saying, and I've moved on. But the you're like you're what you're saying is from a, like a, a mid thirty year old bloke, yeah. right? I my job is to best guide my kids, not to make the mistakes, not not to like to not not to make mistakes. Is that to like be subjective about things, right? Like about. And and make up their own minds and not be influenced into doing something because of someone else. Yeah. So they see things and if they logically or rationally or like whatever do things because they've thought it through and not just because of impulse. And I know that's going to be hard for kids because yeah. their their emotions are high. But I have to guide them to do that. Um, but and I understand what you're saying. Like I don't so, know. I guess it becomes hard when you have outside. Sometimes my feeling is. The mistake can actually help you become the person that you no, need to No, I become. get that. I get that. Sometimes you need to fail to succeed. No, I get that. But you don't want to push that. them to fail. I get to that. Like, yeah. I'm not That's saying the... we should encourage our children to fail. I'm saying we should guide them in the correct pathway. And yes, if they're seeing someone smoke on TV, be honest, saying smoking is bad for you, you shouldn't be doing it. That's basically what, what your job is as a parent to do. But it's just difficult but, with teenagers that the don't, the day, aren't as rational. A t- as a teenager... They're going to make some dumb choices. Yeah. And unfortunately, there's nothing really we can do to predict them. If you want more What's information. The difference between nowadays and before is like today, the access kids have to these influences is beyond like anything we would have thought about before. In the sense that like when you go home and your kids on the internet or your phone or watching stuff on Netflix for, let's say, five, six hours a day, like they're connected to something which you don't really monitor. Mm-hmm. Like back in the day, I used to go out and play I just dumb things. I was on the streets, but I was on the streets. There was like a limit to what influences mm. were, right? Yeah. And to be honest, if you look where I grew up, there was a lot of bad influences. Like I watched people snort cocaine when I was like six years old, and people get stamped on their head and all sorts. But oh. it was like, it, it, it was like that was sort of the outside of the norm. My norm, if I wanted to, when I was seven years old, now could be just watching these kind of shows and being emotionally molded. Yeah. Which is very hard for a parent. So it's like. The question is, like, as a parent, like, when the when the kids between like five and ten years old, or maybe a bit older, like, you can tell them as much as you want. Like, that's they got they're going to be influenced very quickly by yeah. other things as well. And the question is, okay, then what do we do? Do we say do do I ban my kid completely? No. Do I try and encourage the world to be a bit kinder, or 
like there's some like there's so many ways you can approach this maybe doing a little bit of all of them helps and maybe this is one of the ones saying let's do a little bit to netflix and say hey can you just help us out a bit here because we don't know what our kids are watching can you yeah. just stop trying to make smoking cool Mm -hmm. That's all we're asking you to do. Or like, it's even As simple a, things like not like showing thing, people in cars without seatbelts and stuff like that. Like, there's been complaints about that. And do you know what I mean? I understand your part, Siege. So I, I don't know if I use subjective right. I think I wanted to be more objective. Is objective? Subjective is emotion, <laughs> not emotional. Dude, I want to. How be, long have you been thinking no, about no, that? Yeah, <laughs> the whole time. So I want <laughs> to them honest, to be. I, I thought you got emotional. I was like, damn. No, no. So I wanted <laughs> them to be more objective than subjective. That was my. I, yeah. I, was, I said it and I went. That's wrong. You're an wrong idiot. That's wrong. That's totally wrong. <laughs> like, as I said, like, I understand as, as a as parents, you want the best for your children. No, I look, Maxi, Maxi put it in the head. Like, you can't block, you can't block these influences. But yeah. I want my kids to be objective in their in their approach to things. So I want to. That's what I want to instill with them before I. Here is the world. Like, I can't stop them from yeah. whatever the world have, but I can. You can, I can. You can help them make better choices. I can arm them with tools to make better choices. It's up to them to still use it and all that stuff. So, as I said, man, like, like we were armed with some good parents ourselves, and we still made some dumb decisions. So, no matter. Yeah. The but the ratio of dumb to my, smart decisions, okay. mine's are a lot, a lot higher than. Um, my argument is, <laughs> it's like in, saying in sense, you got taught to swim. You got taught to swim when you were a kid, and so are the kids today. But the difference is. You were swimming in a lake, and the kids are being chucked in like stormy waters, kind of thing. Like, there's a lot more influence. Yeah, now yeah. Than yeah. Mm. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the B Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Hit the bell, hit the bell. bell. Hit the hit the bell. bell.